Does it matter if I die? Or is my life just one of seven billion? Does it matter if a 38-year-old woman faints on the street and dies because of bleeding? Does it matter if two women in Lavaitan get kicked and hit unprovoked and no one helps? Or a mother suddenly gets a heart arrest? Are we all just one of seven billion? I moved to Ningbo, China together with my family in August 2016. I had been working several years as an intensive care nurse and I taught medical staff, kids and adult CPR. After reading several articles about health in China, I wondered why people do not act in emergency stations. I was so sad to hear that fear of legal disputes was one main reason for not acting in emergency. What if it would be one of my kids that no one would help? Now with the new law in China, the Good Samaritan Law, I felt like I wanted to make a change. I met Dr. Stephen Howe and together we started to promote the importance of CPR and first aid training. As you may know, there are over 500,000 cases of sudden deaths happening in China every year, but the survival rate is less than 1%, while in some developed countries, the rate of survival is over 10%. The gap means that there are 45,000 lost lives can be saved by effective means. The immediate CPR is one of them. So we have started providing the training of CPR and first aid last year under the name of Cyclinic and Care for Life. So far, we have trained over 600 people in the city. They are teachers, students, gene coaches, dentists, and workers, and so on. According to international guidelines of CPR and first aid, those who have received the training will make their families, communities more safe. I had a colleague uh, approach me and say that we had an emergency. And upon following him, we came across another colleague that was obviously choking and asphyxiating. I yelled loudly, I'm going to perform the Heimlich maneuver she nodded and we proceeded to give two thrusts. We dislodged the object and we had success. We want everyone to be prepared for real life situation to save lives in need. CPR and first aid training was absolutely critical because it puts you in the experience. It gives you the theory, the practice together that's needed for if and when that moment comes, we can save lives. CPR and first aid training is really a natural fit for our school and for our students. Uh, we expect our students to be involved global citizens. And to be an involved global citizen really means that you take an active role in the safety and well-being of your community, your family, and your, your fellow man, your students too. You're not just one of seven billion. Your life matters. Start your CPR and first aid course today and learn how to save lives.